Okay, here's a question. So I was watching a video. There's all these YouTubers who make videos about your life and everybody you've ever known's life, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Is that weird for you ever? Yeah, because I don't have a PR. You'll watch one and just be like, so man, this like, is I not. I want them where a lot of the press come from. <laughs> right. Because I don't have a publicist. So it's like, I want the where a lot of the press. That but there's just still people from. who want to make videos so they can put some O block, the history of, you know, rah, 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 Chicago, Chirac, et cetera. You know, they want to get that some would views. Be crazy. Yeah. That would be funny as hell to me. Yeah, yeah. That would be funny to me. Right. Because they'll really stop and take time just to focus on that. Yeah. Like crazy, like you're fucking yeah. Spider Man yeah. or something like you that. You want to be known for that? Like yeah. you really want to be known for doing that? You crazy, the motherfucker? You want your <laughs> kids to know this? Is what you know? You do for a living, right? Yeah. Um, okay, but I was watching one of them and it said that at one point there's a rumor that you were like homeless and fucked up on drugs, bad. I look like that. Not now, no. But was there ever a point where you were yeah. down bad? Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, when I was a kid. Oh, okay, but not since we came to know of you. Nah, not since I did music. Oh, okay. And since I've been rapping, nah. But before, not, before music, yeah. <laughs> shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, I told you before. Like I told you before, I didn't slept in trap houses. Right. And shit, and before, I, all type of shit. <laughs> right. But that, like, come on. That's an exaggeration? Exactly. Okay. Just because to they, they met, a lot of people want me to perceive a lifestyle that flashy. Mm. And, um, just. Were you never like that? You're never like the big chain guy? No. No. I mean, I never was. No. I never was into that. Me neither. Motherfuckers always trying to pressure me. The most uh, most thing, anything I ever was into was watches. But okay. anything other than that, and probably earrings, if anything. Right. Other than that, no. I'm not into jewelry like that. You're just a weed guy? Yeah. You don't do anything else? It all Here and there? It all depends. It all depends. <laughs> of course. Hell yeah. It all depends. Right. It all depends. It all depends. How much of that was a factor back in the day, though? Were y'all, like, really oh, getting say, loaded man, in getting, those early man, days? I've been getting high since I was like 13, cuz. <laughs> right. Like, but I take care of myself, though. But was I ain't gonna it? Say, I ain't gonna say and act like I just get high all the time. But was the was myself. the lean that was it a huge part of it from the beginning? Y'all were I like never, lean. Personally, I never really drunk lean. Really? Yeah. Okay. Lean never was a, was never a big thing to me. See, I never really did down as really like that. Right. How close were you with Capo? We was close. Right. Close to here. And was he the first one out of your friend group who passed? Well, this is. I or at least, like, maybe so. the first one that we would know of as fans? Um, I can't remember. I don't know. Like, bro, we didn't know so many people. I know. It's insane at this point. But I was just thinking. Like, I would like, never think it happened. But he so might have been like, the first one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if blood. Or, I don't know if blood money got with. Oh, yeah. And then blood money, first. too, was right around yeah, then. I don't yeah. know if he passed I think blood money was after that, if I remember after. correctly. But. I don't know, I, but I can't remember. But I know that it was both close. They both passed away at the same time. Right. They both died at the same, some around the same time. Were you still hanging around at that time? Like, or was that after you kind of left? Yeah, no, I wasn't. Uh, at that time, like, we was kind of, we weren't even probably chilling out, chilling outside type of shit. Nah, right. Hell no, nah, we used to be to chill outside. Uh -huh. Every motherfucker body didn't know we got outside and be, even when we moved, on the um up north on the uh, other side of the city is like they used to still know he was over town. Right. From the police to the people in the neighborhood, they come ring got doorbells and shit. Like it used to be crazy. Right. So yeah now nah, like that's why I, that was another thing. So being outside in the city would have been even crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because now you got People that just support us out of music and, you know what I'm saying? They fuck with us still and they see us outside and, right. you know what I'm saying? Did you kind of quickly get to that point where it was almost like uncomfortable to even be in Chicago because you kind of had the cops and the fans and the ops all having eyes on yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna say a lot. Yeah, yeah. Right. That shit been got uncomfortable. But at the same time, I always was traveling, so like, mm. I always learned, I always knew how to move anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because I was moving a certain way before I started doing music. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't like me moving with how I move when it comes to doing music. It ain't like it's new. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's music. It's all about artists moving around, making sure they protect it. You know what I'm saying? And when I, me growing up, shit, <laughs> that's all it was. You go out to the crib for school, shit, you want to make sure you get your get ass back home. Right. Whether you not going to school or not, you going outside to hang out or whatever, you want to make sure you can get your ass home that night. When you look at Chicago now, do you feel like the streets are crazier than they ever been? Hell yeah. Like nowadays, yeah. Yeah. Like like, way worse. 2012 feels like... They're not like fighting no more, man. 2012 is a walk see, in the park in people comparison. people still was fighting. See, when I, mm -hmm. my days, people still was fighting. See, but I was a kid. Even though I was a kid, like... We we I grew up. We was still fighting. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Even though people still were shooting a little bit, but it was more like people would fight quicker. People had more group fights than just shootings that won't turn out to shootouts. Like it'd be just real group fights. Mm. You know what I'm saying. So like, I still was seeing that and being around that type of shit. You know what I'm saying. So I'm still conditioned into fighting type of shit. You know right. what I'm saying. So. A lot of these little niggas nowadays, they just, they grew up now, now they only seeing guns. They only thinking guns. You know right. what I'm saying? They thinking fighting. And they ain't got time to be fighting your bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? They got that and waste no energy on you. They're thinking Ooh. shooting and they're thinking amping it up on fucking Instagram. Like Man, starting with problems with people they don't even know on their internet. I don't play shit. with this internet. <laughs> no? No, I don't play with the internet. Yeah. I don't even, even want to let my kids get on the internet. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.